Hi, my beautiful babies. Hi, welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot. Thanks for joining me on this gorgeous, beautiful, God blessed day. Okay, so this is for pile number one. Those who chose this gorgeous, beautiful, deep, loving, just such the most gorgeous, beautiful color ever, like fuchsia cupcake, okay? I think it's fuchsia pink. It's a dark pink with purple flowers. This is what the love note that I channeled and I meditated on what came through for the those who chose pile number one, okay? So let's get into your love note reading. And stay blessed on this beautiful, gorgeous day, you guys. Make sure you go walk in nature, okay? It's God's temple, our real temple. All right, let's get into your letter. I work hard for us. You might not know it or see it, but everything I do, I do it for you. Please don't give up. Times get tough, but these are the times that count. I love you. I work hard for us. You might not know it or see it, but everything I do, I do it for you. Please don't give up. Times get tough, but these are the times that count. I love you. <sighs> wow, you guys. That gives me some hardcore um, Brian Adams. Everything I do, I do it for you. If you want to Spotify that, Apple Music it. It's called um, Brian Adams. Everything I do, I do it for you. Very love, very gorgeous, powerful, passionate, very heart-centered song, and it's powerful. So if you guys want to check that song out, Everything I Do, I Do It For You, check it out, because that is definitely relate to the energy that I picked up on when I did that meditation. All right, further to exemplify what your person's thinking, want to ice skate with you under the stars in New York City Central Park. <laughs> and that's what I, that's like one of my favorite cards in the world because like everyone loves to skate. Everybody. I don't know about you. <laughs> you are a royalty. You are my forever queen, my best friend in the whole entire world. My number one VMP for eternity. Wow. This guy's really feeling you. This guy's really in his heart about you. Ghostly Ghostbuster Ghost Licks. <laughs> okay, all right. All righty. All right. Seems like detach, like whenever you guys feel like emotions are getting too crazy. Like with this one, what I pick up on with this one, when you guys get to get into that place where you're, you might disagree, you might get into arguments or the communication's definitely lacking and you guys hold back from expressing your true emotions i feel like if not him but both of you kind of take a step back and instead of expressing your feelings you kind of go ghost so i feel like this person went ghost on you went thriller on you so that's never a good feeling when someone bounces out you know what i mean it's kind of like an emotional um unavailability almost and it triggers a lot of childhood wounds you know what I mean with a parent a parent not being there or a parent just fucking abandon triggering abandonment issues when you're younger you know parents making promises and not never coming through so this definitely would trigger a lot of heartbreak if this guy did ghost you which I kind of think he did because this only pops up when they go ghost okay so here we go with the strategy and with your tarot, we have three of wands. I work hard. I might not know it or see it, but everything I do, I do it for you. Please don't give up. Times get tough, but these are the times that count. I love you. And then we have the devil. Justice. king of swords 
So this guy is very all about his bag. In the current energy, he's all about strategizing and thinking about his future, thinking about his empire that he's building, thinking about the truck that he wants to pay off, thinking about the mortgage he wants to pay off. He's thinking about the land, he's thinking about stocks. Your person's very logical and he's thinking with his head right now. He's not thinking with his heart. So when it comes to you, he's kind, kind of approaching this almost as a business relationship. He's definitely knows that he's very, um, he's very masculine in the way that he wants to, he thinks the way he shows love is providing. So that's like gifts or, um, acts of service acts of gifts so you guys might want to check out the five languages of love made by psychiatrist slash psychic medium they're super accurate so your person's very much thinking with his head finances money the way you guys would build your guys's house build your house make buy a couple settlements of land um very industrious logical mind your person's thinking really about his bag right now because in order for him to think about marriage or family or anything like that this person strategizes about where the rsp is going to go in for our kids what kind of life insurance would i have in the long term that would best benefit my family aka you so when he thinks about how much he loves you deep down in his heart he thinks about providing for you and the family that he wants to have with you so your person's very much Honestly, you guys, this guy's really fucking keeping, like, like I said, when he goes ghost or when he goes quiet, it's not because he's out running around with, like, you know, escorts or fucking trying to mess around and party around with the boys. He, this guy is actually on the grind. He's not lying. Like, when the note comes through and he says, everything I do, I do it for you, he's not lying. Like, he's trying to build this foundation and trying to pay off these mortgages and buy the house to really provide for you guys and your future family. So... All he thinks about is you, like, it's almost to an obsessive, very obsessive um, manner in which he goes about this, like, it's like he really, it's like he works so much that he derails off what really counts in life, which is your guys' bond, relationships, he almost has this unhealthy addiction to the rat race, he almost has this un, um, he almost has this unhealthy attachment to the physical so much that he doesn't really have faith that everything's going to work out perfect with you guys and that he doesn't have to impress you with materialistic things. So I feel this guy is bound to a certain point when it comes to materialistic 3D longings like he wants to keep up with the Joneses a lot, your person, you know what I mean? Meanwhile, he doesn't know that you're not even that materialistic. You're not very, you're not thinking with so much with your head. You don't give a fuck if the guy's like, you know, if he owns like the best Mercedes brands or Maybach, you don't give a shit about that kind of stuff as much as he does, not even close. You care more about the emotional, spiritual, all rounded kind of things. But you know, this has to happen. This break had to happen. It's definitely, it's definitely an experience your person has to experience with you kind of taking a step back just so he could really think about taking the time and thinking about what really counts and matters in life, which is matters of the heart a lot of the times. But like I said, the way he shows love is acts of service, gifts, money. Then we have the card, Star Keeper, Cosmic Ancestors, Seed the Light by Staying Grounded. So I know you're in your head a lot when this card pops up. I know you're in your head a lot. You're thinking a lot about him, like what's going on with us? I don't know what the fuck's going on. He's not really communicating with me. I know there's a lot of 5D astral travel stalking one another. Maybe perhaps in your dreams you might have visited him, but I know there's a lot of 5D communication in the astral realm with one another. When this one pops up, fucking rights. There's a lot of heart connection. The cord is thick between you two. The cord is very thick and your guy feels it. So at nighttime, when you pray for him, when you think of him, when you're wondering about him, he's doing the exact same thing about you because the cord that is attached that you two have with one another when this card pops up especially and just the energy I'm getting from this reading, there's, there's just such a gorgeous, beautiful connection that this is a very thick um, connection. But he's not lying when he says, I'm not messing around. I'm really busy because I'm trying to make the family. Like, I'm trying to plan for our future. It's not just like, 
it's not just me fucking around like i'm actually trying to make money for our family and stuff like that so let's see what else he thinks about you do do do, do. oh <laughs> i frick uh cheese whiz cherish okay creator god what else does their person think about them he does love you he does love you everything i do i do it for you brian adams Yes. Oh my God. That explains a lot. This guy's trying to buy you a fucking Mariah Carey ring. This one popped out. Okay. Yes. Wow. You guys. Okay. So this is what your person's really thinking about you right now. We have the engagement card. So this guy might be working so fucking hard because he wants to put that big ass Mariah Carey Jennifer Lopez ring on your beautiful little finger. He wants to dip that ass in gold. Okay, <laughs> you know what song's really popping up in my head right now, especially, is I Want by Future and Kanye West. So Spotify, Apple Music, that, because definitely this guy sees your worth, he sees how gorgeous and beautiful you are, and he definitely has plans of putting a ring on it. Like I said, everything he does, he does it for you. He's building this empire because he really wants to start a family with you, get married, have the white picket fence and the dogs, adopt some kids, save the world, kiss some babies, shake some hands, everything. He wants to do everything with you and he's just hoping you know that after all this hot mess that you guys are in that you just welcome home with welcome him home with open arms and hopefully he gets lucky that night <laughs> like this guy really loves you so much and he's just really hoping that you understand that everything he's doing and how it, you guys are going through tough times right now and these are the times that count please stay strong with me your guys really telling you yo i love you you're thinking about i'm thinking about you all the time we astral travel stalk one another this guy is thinking about you as much as you're thinking about him and that's legit real because as soon as i said that i felt a punch in my my heart and that means that it's true so chemistry you guys is off the heezy so make sure don't miss don't try self-sabotage this beautiful relationship with your negative thoughts and negative minds okay because i feel like this guy is just the way he shows love is a different way than you might show love so this guy's definitely in his masculine role and he's healthy it's just you gotta be patient with him. I feel like it's worth the wait. But let's get more deeper into what your ancestors and creator God have to say about this relationship. My beautiful love. Let's see what the ancestors have to say about this relationship. Creator God, what do you guys... If my watcher waits, has patience, what advice... What advice or what do you guys see? I guess the question to ask is... What do you guys see the potential of this relationship, Creator God? Oh, you guys. Did you see how that one just flew right out? Oh, and look at at the bottom of the deck. Sexual freedom with the lotus flower bomb. And we all know, you guys, the lotus grows from the lotus grows from the mud so it's resilient it's strong through all the hard times the lotus is very profound sacred plant because we all know that through all the hard times and through the mud it's the most beautiful gorgeous vibrant flower and because it's resilient and strong it deserves to be because no flowers are that beautiful and no roots are that strong to grow from mud the way a lotus does like yo the Lotus is the fucking UFC champ of plants. Like seriously, real talk. And especially to have such asking creator God and the ancestors the outcome. If you guys, if you do have patience and love for this person, this is one of the most beautiful, gorgeous, freedom willing cards that you can ever see. Especially with that Lotus bomb, you guys, and the doves, peace and love and compassion. And look at you guys, I can't make this up. Like you guys seen this fly out, soulmates. You guys are definitely soulmates and that is the kind of relationship you want to have forever and ever and to fly together, evolve together. And like the letter, love letter said, these times are tough, but please don't give up. Times get tough, but they, these are the times that count. Like this is like the cocoon. This is just a little, a little bump in your guys' love story. This guy loves you and it's worth waiting for you guys i promise this is so beautiful you guys seen how this jump out like this is so gorgeous everything i do i do it for you and trophy and kanye uh, tr uh kanye west and future i won that's your guys' song that your person thinks about you i know you miss him my watcher i know you miss your baby but i just want you to know he's worth the wait okay i know you miss him okay it's okay he he loves you like he's c planning to come back and buy you this ring it's okay it's gonna be okay 
All right, but let's get advice for you to just like, advice I guess to for you in the meantime. Just, you know, to keep healthy. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Okay, I can make this up. <laughs> you know, I was just like coaxing you, telling you everything's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's like, don't worry. It's all going to be fine. Oh my gosh, you guys. Don't you just love when Creator God just comes through with such beautiful bright synchronicities? Everything's gonna be okay, my baby. You're so fucking beautiful and I'm just squeezing your cheeks through the screen and you're so cute and I just wanna kiss your beautiful cheeks and face because honestly, I just feel like you need a good sister pat on the back for me to tell you, sis, everything's gonna be okay. Like relax, don't worry about it. Go for a fucking jog. Like go pick some cherries. Go rent a boat in Dubai. Go lay on a yacht. Go do some shit. Like honestly, everything's gonna be okay, baby. I know you're worried. It's gonna be okay. He motherfucking loves you, okay? <laughs> I love when it's so the angels come through so beautiful. Your ancestors really love you. <laughs> like for them to come through in this reading so hard, like that's some pure love. You're surrounded with so much love. Like that's so beautiful, oh my gosh. Hi, my beautiful loves. Hi, welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot. Thanks for joining me on this gorgeous, beautiful, gorgeous, beautiful, lovely day and sending you all the love and all the blessings. Okay, let's get into it. This is a channeled love letter, pile number two, or this beautiful, gorgeous, unbelievably fucking good smelling chocolate icing cupcake with the gray dinosaur butt dots on it, okay? You know the gray dinosaur eggs, they're like chocolate inside, they have a hard shell, that's them, okay? So this is your pile, pile number two, channeled love letter that I did as soon as I woke up. <laughs> Okay, let's get into it. See how your person's feeling deep down that they do not tell a living soul walking this earth. Okay, let's get into it. We are at a distance. We are skies away, but that don't matter because time doesn't count here. Our love transcends miles. Thinking of you always. Oh, wow, you guys. Holy man, that sounds like a song. That sounds like, um, that sounds like a song. It sounds like a, it sounds like a beautiful love story. It's so gorgeous, you guys. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. So I further picked some of these also. Please, please, please have my babies. I need to have you forever and ever. Oh, you guys, this guy really wants to cuff you. So make sure you're on some kind of IUD, FYI. Cause damn, sis, he's gonna break the condom just so you know, mm -hmm. he will. Our connection is so beautiful. I never experienced this in my life. Wow, you guys, yes, this guy is head over heels. Crazy, crazy in love with you. Beyonce, crazy in love. Seriously, this guy's head over heels for you. He's smitten, he's like a little schoolboy. Be my gym partner for life. You're so beautiful. Aww, and you're a gorgeous ass ho. Whoever's watching this, you're a Barbie and he wants to show you off. You're Sierra times 20, 100. Seriously, you're so beautiful and gorgeous. Like this guy is crazy over you. He, there's nobody that can light a flame to how beautiful you are to this guy. And like, I don't know what he does for a living. Like maybe he's a pro athlete. Maybe he has to travel for the oil industry. But there's something, you know, with the distance, cities away, countries away, but it doesn't even matter because this guy knows that your love transcends miles and it doesn't even matter. He just still loves you. He still has a, the same feelings for you. If you, even if you were in the same house as him, it wouldn't matter. He still has these beautiful unfaltering love for you, which is, I find that so beautiful. That's why I'm like, oh, this is like a love song, you know? Oh, and there you are. There you are, his baby. It's very solid. Yeah, this relationship is on solid foundation and it's very strong and it's very grounded. No matter how we like to think that even though you guys are distances apart, it is very grounded. So you guys are doing a really great job at keeping it strong. Whatever you guys are doing, FaceTime, talking, se sending memes to one another, it doesn't even matter. You guys are doing something that's so beautiful and just so great that you guys are grounding it. This beautiful angel and he sees you as this gorgeous, beautiful angel of love. He sees you as a walking goddess on earth. He sees how you light up rooms. He sees your gorgeous aura from 
countries away. Like, nobody can hide how beautiful you are, you guys. Like, I understand you are physically beautiful, but on top of that, you are spiritually. And yes, I can say this because I just got flashes of golden light, which is very telling me that you are a radiant, gorgeous goddess. You have this beautiful golden light about you that's just royal and strong. You're very pure of heart, who's ever watching this. And your person, whether he knows it or not, is psychically picking up on this. So that's beautiful. Damn, so poetic. Okay, so we have six of swords. Of course we do, of course we do. And we have ace of wands. Of course, of course. Yes, yes. Yes, bitch. Oh my gosh. Can this get any more beautiful and gorgeous? Like, can we just end it here? Can we all just end the fucking reading here and go watch Young and Restless and buy some whatever you guys like? I like Church's Chicken Vegan menu. Honestly, you guys, can we just end it here? Because like, serious sis, this guy, you guys are a couple made in heaven, Hollywood heaven. Like you guys are, s I'm so excited and happy. I can't wait to own my house because I want to scream and shout and let it all out. <laughs> like, guys, I'm so excited and happy. Like, I'm like, I feel like I'm at your guys' wedding and I'm that, like, extra, extra sister that you have who cries at everything and I'm like, ah, ah, and I just, like, cry my fucking fake eyelashes off. That's me right now. You guys, that's me right now because your guys' love is seriously like a fucking Disney movie love. It's crazy. Healing. Yes, okay. And then we have, to further check it out, Deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. So I know the t distance is really, it's very weighing heavy on you. And it's taking, it's tough a lot of days. It, you know, as long distance usually is. Not everything sunshine and rainbows, uh, like it or not. That's just the way life is. So like, especially with this card, like she's longing. She's looking in the distance. You know, it's a lot of waiting and while you're doing the wait make sure that you're just loving yourself as much as possible all the love that you well into him make sure that you're pouring it into yourself also um because this is a very strong united love this is a soulmate card you guys you guys smack dab in the middle you guys were meant to meet each other this guy wants to be with you this guy wants to wake up to you each morning this guy wants to share pancakes with you on sunday this guy wants you to make barbecue wings when he has f sunday football night with the guys this guy wants you to, to pick him up light coors light organic beer from the local supermarket you know what i mean this guy wants the little things with you in life that matter the most because it's the little things that count in life you guys it's the way you wisp your hair it's the way i have a feeling this guy really really is obsessed with you because i keep getting a flash in my mind of like um like a bombshell like a chick that's always like knows how to work it like on a vogue magazine shoot is what i'm keep seeing in my view here and especially with this card like this broad's hair is hella long and she's yeah very vogue i feel like you guys are like gq models any models any models in a bottle watching watching beautiful love tarot here holla all right let's get into further what this guy thinks about you love letter because like look at like his the love letter said we are at a distance we are skies away but that don't matter because time doesn't count time don't count our love transcends miles thinking of you always so no matter what you guys he thinks about you all the time all right let's get further feelings of what this person's feeling ancestors and god in their heart space what else is this person feeling for my watcher deep down in their heart space what else is he feeling deep down in his heart space? Oh my gosh, you guys. Wow. One more, please. Okay, that one jumped. So what I usually do when they jump like that, I go like this. Wow, you guys. We have the same cards in this reading. Wow. And at the bottom true love so through all the bumps in the road that you guys are going through through all of the trials and tribulations that you two are both going through because it is a bitch like it or not we all know it long distance does get really freaking hard to do sometimes because it's such a b-i-t-c-h to really 
physically when you just want to fall into their arms at the long end of a day and just cry or if you want if you're too lazy to get up and make your protein shake you wish your boo was there to like really make your protein shake and massage your feet it's tough like it's tough not having like a 3d grounded relationship and living together union you know so the whole phone facetime distance thing yes it's great but like Damn, it gets tough, but at the end of the day, this guy, it doesn't matter about the implications in the distance. This guy loves you and he's thinking about you all the time and he knows that even though you guys are skies away, that doesn't even matter because time doesn't count here. He's woke enough to know that your guy's love transcends miles. It transcends this 3D earth. It's a 5D thing, okay? So, fuck I love your man because he knows what's up. And with this whole separation thing, yes, you guys are in separate countries, separate states, whatever. But no matter what, at the end of this day, this guy is thinking about you all the time. Like, look at this guy's like stalking her while she's fucking sleeping. He's thinking of you all the time. So if you think you are the only one thinking about him, it's f the thirst is mutual, sis. This guy's thinking about you all the time. And with this, like it's long distance. It's traveling to one another. It's like one day we are going to quit like feeling so hard up for one another and really like you know physical deprivation physical deprivation when you're just really longing to fucking hold them you know what i mean like one day you guys are gonna get past this and one day you guys are going to move through the waters these are the exact same cards and you guys are gonna be together you guys are gonna cross that ocean cross those provinces states the cities and you guys are gonna be together long distance ain't shit when there's love you guys love is the most powerful force in this world you guys are gonna make it through these trials and tribulations and it's gonna be amazing and you guys are gonna make love every day all day bruised up bodies everything that's beautiful you guys you guys will make it through with the um trials and tribulations you guys are going through right now and he thinks about it all the time he's making a plan of action to really mend your guys' life together which is a huge deal like that's a big deal you guys like oh my god that's a big deal holy that's a huge deal he's willing to make the effort you notice how this boy is making the effort and going out of his way to um to really cater to his boo that's what your guy thinks about you all the time how can i better cater to her um what can i order her off amazon for a gift like what can i send her oh my baby loves pink gold maybe i can like find something on amazon to send her like he's always thinking about you all the damn time this guy thinks about you all the damn time and he knows at the end of the day you guys are soulmates and that this is totally worth the weight and the pain of the lack of physical interaction he knows that it's worth it and i understand for you too my baby that you're really physically feeling deprived but sis get that unicorn dildo on amazon is 31.99 they're really nice and they're see-through and they have like sparkly confetti in them they're called confetti unicorn dildos they're seven inches not too wide not too long you know just a nice little <laughs> to get you through those nights and yeah you guys are soulmates it's gonna be all good in the hood he thinks about you all the time and he knows this is a love worth like you guys can make this last forever and graduate into um spirit world together and it's a true love that he knows that like the love letter said it transcends time there's no such thing as time in the spirit world and your person's woke enough to know this that your guys is more love is more powerful than anything on this earth and your love transcends miles so he's always thinking you all the time all these cards you guys are a man just obsessed with his woman like the way it should be all these cards the boy the guys look at the boys catering to her let me massage your feet this one oh let me like massage oil your body down and shit like really almost like thinking about you all the damn time to the point where it's annoying so i know you're really physically deprived you're very wishing you can hug and hold him every single night but be patient sis because you know it's it everything in its own time you know okay let's see what god and the ancestors have to say about this union god and the ancestors oh <laughs> one more <gasps> oh this reading is so mushy like a damn love song you guys such a beautiful love song oh my gosh yes you see through these trials and tribulations this is at the bottom of the deck it's all going to be good like your person's physically deprived you're physically deprived everyone's sad everyone's like there's times where it gets really tough because the distance is making it a bitch to like keep it going but i'm telling you just ask the ancestors and god for the strength to make it through this um short separation in physical distance right now you guys because not only are you going through the row with missing him but he's also missing you super lot so also make sure you're praying to your ancestors and god that 
to send him white healing light to his heart chakra to help him until you guys are in union in 3d grounded contact shacked up together waking up to each other every day because you guys are blessed from up above with the two most beautiful cards ever love you guys are you kidding me so this is like pure love this is like pure love with the self-love with divine love with soulmate love like you've reached a pinnacle um, area in your life where you are going to be blessed with this soulmate love because you've done so much work on yourself and you've come through so much heavy uh, traumatic situations and past relationships relationships with lovers you've passed you've made it through a lot of childhood trauma you've done a lot of your ancestral lineage healing that God is rewarding you now with this beautiful soulmate love and it's just gonna prosper and get better and better honey there's so much solid foundation there's so much security and safety in this union you guys it's worth being patient for there's a lot of ten of Pentacles and abundance in money and spiritual emotional and mental abundance that are going to come from this union you guys you guys are not only gonna heal one another but you guys are also going to help transcend sorry i'm just changing my speaker here you guys are also going to help transcend your families you're also going to help transcend your co-workers you are also going to give birth to some super saiyan kids like some crystalline children so if you guys have babies in the next couple of years those children are going to be crystallined which is the batch of babies who are coming in who are just meant to come and to raise the frequency of the planet who have a high 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 star seed dna makeup okay so just so much prosperity in the future with this love you guys it is blessed from the divine and there is so much love pouring out to you and the universe and your person's woken up and spiritually uh spiritually and emotionally intelligent where they recognize that this is a once in a lifetime love like this is fucking beautiful you guys the trials and tribulations with this with this um little minuscule separation you guys are going through is just the, gonna make you guys stronger okay because this is a true love this is the love of a lifetime so you have nothing to worry about my baby okay so i love you so much i love you so fucking much thank you for blessing me with your beautiful energy i love you so much and i'll see you next time on beautiful love tarot hi my beautiful loves hi welcome to you beautiful love tarot such a gorgeous beautiful day in mr rogers neighborhood right do you agree do you agree i definitely agree so this is for my beautiful babies who chose this gorgeous pink icing with a beautiful bougie ass pink uh jujube on the top okay so this is your beautiful reading pile number three channeled love letter okay what they think deep down in their heart space that they do not tell a mofo walk in this mm -mm, mother planet okay so let's see what they have to say all right so we have moving mountains now it seems times are tough i know you see huge mountains and they seem overwhelming please be patient and hang in there moving mountains please it seems times are tough i know you see huge mountains and they seem overwhelming but please be patient and hang in there um the song that i'm getting from that channeled message i channeled this morning during meditation was moving mountains by usher so if you want to google uh, music that apple spotify music that check it out it's called moving mountains by usher okay so further to get into the details of your person's heart space i have pulled three feeling cards come get this apocalypse d okay <laughs> okay oh but that's such a good song 2020 by chris brown i think it's 2021 it's such a good song this is what it reminds me of it's like make you let's make love um before the world ends making love to you before the world ends i think it's chris brown 2021 it's called heartbreak oh you guys oh <laughs> Jeez, I can't see you with no one else. <laughs> Jesus, this reading is kind of really <sighs> very heavy energy, very heavy heart. And before I go forward, I just want to tell you, you need to really put your hand on your heart and use the power of your Reiki because we do have at least one two th i forget how much specifically chakras we have in our hand but reiki consists of reiki with our hands so make sure you're doing your own reiki because we can reiki ourselves 
which is healing energy on your heart, okay? And repeat to yourself, I know you're hurt, I know you're sad, but I love you and you're not alone. It's okay to be sad. Your feelings are valid. Make sure you're babying yourself and you're saying that and you're putting your hand on your heart because right now I'm feeling this really heavy energy and I know it's your heart and you're really missing this person and he's really missing you. You guys are both really hurting over each other. So sis, if you need to cry, make sure you cry because those tears are sacrifices to the ancestors that come out of your eyes. I fucking hate when people are like, don't cry or stop. It's like, Ksh, shut the fuck up, man. Just because you're emotionally all blocked up and stuff like that and your shockers are all blocked don't mean that mine have to be. I can't stand when society teaches people that it's not okay to cry. I'm telling you right here, this is your message. Whoever chose pile number three, cry because you have a heavy heart and the only way to f f heal pain that you're going through is to heal and feel so you can heal what's real, which means don't go out and get hammered, don't go out shopping, like just stay at home and have a, a sad bitch day or a couple because your energy I'm picking up on and this guy's energy, you guys are very both heartbroken. The garden and the gate. Yeah, this, this card would pop up for sure. Um, activated earth, power places, ley lines, trust where you're led. I'm really happy I spoke about the chakras, the 145 chakras of the body, because the earth is also alive. Gaia is also alive. She's alive and breathing just like you and me, and she also has chakras. All the pyramids in Cambodia, China, Mesoamerica, Egypt, Brazil, Peru, Nevada state they all are made on ley lines you guys and the earth has chakras and that's where the pyramids were specifically made where in those the uh, Bermuda Triangle they were all made on these energetic chakras on the earth okay just so you guys know just like the us we have 145 chakras seven main chakras the earth has chakras Hollywood is also on a huge chakra that's a whole other video I'm gonna do in my other um, channel link down below cherish love talks because yeah, I feel like a Reiki session to help heal you and help heal your auric shock, uh, your auric field, my baby, would really help you. So try find a really good local Reiki master to try unclog a lot of your um, parts in your body you might not know that are clogged. Whether it's your root chakra, your sacral, your solar, yeah, gotta really get to a Reiki um, master because I'm getting a feeling you have some blockages that are relating to this heartbreak, okay? Sorry, I keep just smashing around the fucking camera here. Oh, you guys, four of wands. Oh, such a beautiful card. Like I said, if you need to cry, cry. We got the knight of wands. Hanged man. And we have, oh, you, this is my, okay, the sun and the ten of pentacles is the, the kind of cards you want to see in any kind of love reading, you guys. This person, no matter what kind of moving mountains, hard time you guys are going through right now, it doesn't even matter to this guy because this guy, just through all the trials and tribulations and the changes you guys have been going through and making it through, like you guys have made it through some hurdles already as it is, but you got, you are this end game for this guy. Even the like... I know you guys must have had discussions about the end of the world or it slips into his mind because I'm getting a lot of vibes if this guy were to end the world with you and it went into a big zombie apocalypse, <laughs> so funny, that this guy would want to be fighting by your side with that bat with nails on it, just like on that one series my sister's obsessed with. I don't even know what, what it's watched. Grimes is on there. I don't know. She paints the guy. But yeah, so like if this guy had to choose a partner, a BS, BFF, an MVP, a co-CEO to fight zombies with, it would definitely be you. Like this guy wants to just be with you forever, marry you, have kids with you. Hopefully not die together because he wants to like have kids with you. He wants to see your guys' kids grow. He wants to build a fortress, an empire, a legendary life with you this guy loves you so right now he is in the you guys are in this state of almost you guys are in this state where you're like i don't even like you guys both want to throw in the gloves it's like oh like that's the attitude i'm getting like oh like fuck this <laughs> i'm so effing done with this like you guys are having this kind of energy about you both uh where you're just like is it even worth it 
right? Is it even worth it anymore? Like, oh, I'm so effing tired of this. It's like one hurdle after the other hurdle. Like, fuck, man, when is the finish line? I feel like you guys are in that moment right now, but there's a lot of going back and forth with, is it, do we have longevity? Because right now, the separation that you guys are going through does have you and your person both in heartbreak right now. And oh, even though you guys decided to take a break and a breather from one another, it's like he's still so in love with you. It would kill him. Fucking just kill him to see you with somebody else. And times are tough right now. And like he said in the love letter, I know you see huge mountains and they seem overwhelming, but please be patient and hang in there. Like your guy's really hoping you don't give up because oh, you guys are plan in the planning stages. And you know, the, they say when, when life seems that nothing's happening, that's when the most stuff is happening, you guys. That's when the ancestors are in the background, men really sowing your guys's path together that's when the ancestors are busy at work so when life seems like nothing's happening that's when the most shit's happening yo you gotta keep that in mind life can't always be action orientated and i know you guys are hyper because in the beginning of your guys's relationship it was very passionate very amazing love making you both swept each other off each other's feet there was such fire and passion a lot of a lot of beautiful encounters in the night a little bump 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 bump, bump in the night time a lot of like Netflix and chills and having fun and laughing uncontrollably and tickling each other. You know, a lot of that getting swept off your feet, that kind of love. But now you guys are just stationed at this like halt where you guys have to figure out the next plan moving forward. And times are tough right now. But like your person said, please don't give up on me. I can't see you with nobody else is what he's saying, you know. So let's see what else your person's feeling deep down in their heart space wow holy man wow you guys did you see this just fly right out this guy just wants to get married to you he wants you guys to make up and agree to disagree on red velvet cake and just love each other and be together and just make it through this mountain and she's he's telling you he's begging you on his hands and knees please just be patient and hang in there and just know that this time of the hangman time that you guys are going through there's like i said when nothing seems to be pushing or shoving or there seems to be no progress that's when the most progress is happening is in that state of moments where it seems like nothing's happening and that you know what's happening you guys is the wisdom and the pain and the learning through the pain and the forgiving and the learning you guys you guys have to you guys are learning to gain knowledge you guys are becoming stronger in your bond through this hiccup that you guys are going through through this it seems like it's moving mountains but at the end of the day this guy even though there's this sweat light pause in your guys's union this guy is just definitely hoping you don't give up because you're his wife like this is the most beautiful, gorgeous. These are the most beautiful, gorgeous cards you can get you guys when it comes to a love. This guy sees you as growing old and dying together. This guy sees you as making love to you morning, day and night. This guy wants to pick out supper fruits with you in the local market. This guy wants to buy the same Jordans with you so you guys have matching Jordans. This guy wants to roast your aunties and uncles at the family barbecues and have little secret laughs and shit. This guy wants to just build an empire with you and dance into forever with you, forever and ever until death do us part. Cause there's no such thing as death. So it's like, you guys will go boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 let me say again, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's see, moving forward, if you wait for this guy, let's ask the ancestors how this relationship would go if you did take this guy back and you actually were patient with him. How would it go, ancestors and God, if my watcher was patient and waited for him? Boom, 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 let me hear you say way oh, way oh. Boom, 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 let me hear you say way oh, way oh. Hey, my girl, you are so fine. Okay, one more. Oh, damn. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so if you're patient with this man, if you're patient with this guy, um, and if you actually wait for him, there's going to be a lot of things that are going to happen, okay? So I want you to keep that this in track. Like I said, I asked the ancestors and God, if you do wait for this guy, how it's going to go? Because I know there is a separation, and I know you did do some two-stepping out of this union, and you did decide to make your own way away. I can't see you with no one else. So obviously there's this separation and this guy is telling you, please hang in there, don't give up on us. You know, but the, the scales of karma are definitely going to be playing out with this 
temporary pause that you guys are going through. And like I said, with the Reiki, you have to find a Reiki master in your local town because I know that your energy is really heavy and you're going through some massive heartbreak right now, my watcher. So make sure. Okay, so anyways, I'll get back. Sorry, I digress. But so if you wait for this guy, yes, he's going to come forward and he's going to message you and he, you guys are going to try and make it work again. You guys, because this guy's obsessed with you, he's going to try and make it work with you again. He's going to come towards you. But the thing is, he's going to have the same... <sighs> It seems times are tough and I know you see hum huge mountains and they seem overwhelming. It's because this guy is making those own damn mountains. This person is creating those motherfucking problems. He is the mountain. He is the mountain. He is the damn guy who's not... He could easily just fucking t turn the mountain into a molehill. This guy is the motherfucking problem, Okay. He is making his own mountains and his own problems, causing you to take a step back from him. And it's due to old habits and old things that he's doing. No matter how obsessed and in love he is with you, it's just like this guy is self-sabotaging the relationship. I was just had something that just was said to me, you guys. Oh, okay. I hate when that happens because I'm... Okay. Sometimes I can't keep track of what I'm hearing. But okay, so yes, this guy is making his own mountains and he is so in love with you and he does hope in the future for this beautiful die together and love together and everything. But at the same time, bruh, you can't expect to have the world with the 10, aka you, my watcher. You can't expect to have this whole entire Disney book ending story, beautiful, gorgeous, the notebook love with someone when you're not even trying to heal your addictions, bro. Like, of course he wants, of course he wants this beautiful family with you. Of course he wants to marry you. Of course he would. You're a 10. Who the fuck? would not want to marry you. You stepped away for a reason, sis. You did. So in stepping into your power and your worth, this guy's like, oh my God, I really have to tie her down. I really have to knock her up. Like, cause he knows that he'll never do better than you. So you did choose yourself. Cause this guy's making his own mountains from what I'm seeing. Um, he's not trying to own up and take responsibility for his healing and his old past addiction, negative thought waves, negative programming that he refuses to self-direct and heal. He's self-sabotaging it pretty much. But anyways, nevertheless, you're on your own. You're doing beautiful. You're doing fantastic. You're fucking gorgeous. Like I said, you know your self-worth. You're in your power. You pay your own mortgage. You got your own whips. You kind of don't need no man, but sis, you want one to add to your already beautiful cherry on top of your beautiful already sun gorgeous Sunday, okay? You're already beautiful, babe. You're gorgeous. You're loving. You're rich. You're the provider of your family and your siblings. Like, you don't, like, you, I'm so proud of you that, first of all, I know you're heartbroken and I know I'm recommending you to go see a Reiki master because I do highly recommend that because of the energy that I'm picking up from your heart. But I just need to say that I'm really proud that you stepped into your power and you stepped into know your worth and you took a step from this guy because, of course, he wants to knock you up. Who, of course, he would. He keeps messing up this relationship from what I am seeing. If you do take him back in the future and you do keep trying, it's just going to be the same old um, BS. It's just going to be the same old, same old cycles. You know, when they're just like, oh, I'll change. I'll change. I promise. And then they like, it's the honeymoon phase. And then it goes back to the same old bullshit for like 90% of the time. That's just what's going to happen. It's going to be in, uh, fighting, fighting, fighting. So you guys will have the honeymoon phase, which is a good good passion for like a good weekend getting consistent d for the whole weekend don't get me wrong and be some pretty mighty fine passion but that's about it and then 90 percent of the time it'll be fighting disagreements he's not your equal and he's not gonna pull his weight so yes of course he thinks it's like please be patient and hang in there right now it seems overwhelming it's like moving mountains he's not your 50 50 but anyways i'm not gonna just leave you there that's kind of mean Let's see if you move past this guy because you're obviously in the process of moving past him because your heart's heavy. Let's see. Let's ask God and Creator um, what they have in store for you for love up next, okay? Creator and God, if she, my watcher chooses a different love path, goes the different, what's in store for love? 
God and ancestors. God and ancestors. What's in store for love? Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say, way yo, way yo. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say, way yo, way yo. Baby girl, you are so fine. I'm going to make you mine, oh my. Oh, damn. Too much. Too much. Too much. Okay. Okay. Okay, this one just kind of went out. And one more. Ooh, two. Okay, you know what? This guy wanted to come out several times. Okay. So if you do move on from this relationship, the love that you are going to have is going to be found in... You're going to go through a long period of, like... You're going to go through a long period of just finding yourself, healing, being single for a while, traveling. You're going to spend a lot of time with your aunties, your sisters, your best friends. You're going to get turned up. You're going to have a lot of fun, okay? You're going to enjoy summer, hot bitch summer, okay? That's your song. Um, you're not going to, I feel like, get into anything too serious. You're just going to do you, work on your empire, work on your legacy, and spend a lot of time with your friends and family, which you should. Like, I really love the evolution of Chelsea off Teen Mom when after she broke up with her baby daddy when she was a teenager, it was so abusive and he was such a dick, which usually first loves are just for practice anyways, sometimes two, sometimes three. But yeah, so her first love was such a dick. And what she did is she took the time to heal for two years, Chelsea off Teen Mom. She took the time to heal, went back to school, dated around, just self-love, did a lot of her healing work and really found out who she was deep inside. And then eventually about two years later, after um, breaking up with her baby daddy, court battle, everything, she ran into Cole. And Cole is now married with Chelsea and they have a beautiful life. And I could not see Chelsea with a man better. Like that man is a damn good man. So when you do the self work and you take time to heal and have fun, find yourself and evolate, um, Evolate? Is that how you say it? Evolate? Escalate? English ain't my first language. Okay, is it Evolate? Evitate? I don't know. High, when you heighten your frequency, when elevate. Ah, there we go. When you elevate your energy, you guys, everything becomes more upgraded. So obviously she took the lessons, the karmic lessons she had to learn with her first deadbeat and her only deadbeat, thank God. And she found this beautiful man. So I feel like you're gonna get in that stage where you're like healing and you're finding yourself and you're having fun and you're doing all these beautiful self-exploration exercises. You're going to Reiki masters. You're taking the time to cry lots and you're definitely finding yourself because we have the hermit also right here. And that's a lot of going within, finding out deeper what's your passions, falling more in love with yourself. So you're definitely gonna heal from this heartbreak that you're going through right now and yes it's gonna take time eventually you will get there like you know i'm not gonna try lie and be like oh yeah heartbreak just takes two seconds to get over no it's a journey and like i said check out uh teen mom chelsea story and how she found herself and how she took the time to go to school and she really fucking is the definition of the glow up because then she ended up with cole but yeah don't even worry about anything i know sometimes you're gonna try have those times of going back and getting in those lack mindset you have a problem with your mentality on your own sometimes my watcher where you think that you can't do better or you think that god will never deliver someone beautiful and handsome to you again with good dick like this guy that you're just leaving but trust and believe sis that you do have someone out there that's a better match for you don't get into that shitty mentality wave where you think you can't do better or you'll never find someone better because you do have a better soulmate on the way and i just know this because i just felt a punch to my so um my uh gut and when it, that happens i get a long trigger like that and i hear soulmate it's obviously yes there's a soulmate out there for you but this ain't it so don't get stuck in that brain length, wavelength, thinking that, oh, I have to cling on to him because I can't do better. Yeah, you can. You can do better. Yeah. And this was at the bottom. So this is emotional deprivation. Make sure that you get out of that mindset where you're thinking that God is just being mean to you and he doesn't have nobody better for you. Baby, I know your heart's really broken and destroyed from this man, but trust and believe, my baby, that there is someone better for you, okay? So just take the time to heal and spend time with families and friends and to take all the lessons that you gained which is self-worth and self-respect from this relationship and yeah one more piece of advice for you to help you okay this one totally flipped 
let go of stress. Don't take, can you see this? Let go of stress. Don't take on other people's stress. Breathe it out now. So you might be so empathic, you're also picking up on other people's stresses and stuff, but you gotta quit that. Everyone's burden ain't for you to carry. You ain't Hercules, you ain't Jesus. Even Jesus had took it easy. Muhammad, Buddha, you gotta take it easy. Don't take on everybody's stress, okay? Let go of stress. Don't take on other people's stress. Breathe it out now. And like I said, make sure you find that Reiki Master because that's going to really help you also unlock a lot of vibrant and get those chakras vibrant and spinning, okay? So I love you so much. Take the time to cry and just be patient with yourself through this time, okay? I love you and I'll see you next time on Beautiful Love Care. Hi, my beautiful babies. Hi, and welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot. I hope that you're doing super gorgeous and this video has met you in a beautiful place. So this is a channeled love letter that I got while meditating this morning for you who chose this beautiful yellow icing purple flower cupcake, okay? So this is a channeled love letter and yeah, I wish you so much love and I hope that your chakras are aligned and that you're happy, okay? So let's get into your channeled love letter from your person that you have in mind on tapping on this pile number four, okay? My beautiful baby. All right, your channeled love letter from your person that they think deep down and feel about you when they think about you when your beautiful face pops in their heart chakra, what do they feel? Okay, so let's get into it. I know I remind you of future. I know you've been go giving me chance after chance and I laugh or don't take you serious, but I'm busy, I always have been. Respect the grind, I still say you're cute. Oh my gosh, okay you guys, totally didn't even and know that I channeled this um whatever comes out I just write it down I know I remind you of future I know you've been giving me chance after chance after chance and I laugh or I don't take you serious but I'm really busy and I always have been respect the grind I still say you're cute hmm do you guys know future the rapper do you guys are you guys familiar with future my watcher <sighs> This guy, the guy that you tapped on for this video, you guys, for real, sis. All right, I'm so sorry. All right, I'm so sorry. Let me tap that ass until the good Lord takes us home. <laughs> uh, I wrote a, you a message, but I didn't send it. I wrote you a message, but I didn't send it. So he thinks about you all the time obviously he thinks about you all the time wrote you a message but he didn't send it okay further into your cards we have adjacent possibilities i'm already picking up on a lot of messages you guys but i'm going to wait till the end uh birthing a new age birthing new creations dreaming a new world into being then for your tarot we have healer of abundance We have the hanged man, the hanged man. Yeah, the hanged man, that's what that is. And then we have the helper of emotion, helper of emotion. And then we have the, ooh, we have the king of pentacles. Wow, so this guy thinks that you're his equal in all aspects, regardless of all the options that he is dating around. Because he is dating around. This guy's a handsome guy. He's What I'm picking up from the energy is he's like a Casanova. He breaks hearts for a living. A lot of women chase after him. He might, might be borderline famous and well-known in his town. A lot of people know him. A lot of women want to be with him. A lot of men want to be him. A lot of chicks want to sleep with him. He's that kind of t hometown hero is what I'm kind of getting the energy. I really hope you guys can see this. I know the lighting is not the greatest, but I'm really trying. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so regardless of all the hurt feelings and all like the... Even though he has a lot of women who throw themselves at him, no matter what, he just 
he's in this space right now where he's just kind of contemplating like who do i choose i have so many options a lot of women want to be with me like he doesn't know if he's ready to settle down he's kind of in a really huge player phase like i said he's a champion he does something that's he's the best at what he does in his field i'm getting really athletic vibes your person has to be a fucking leo or have a lot of leo in his chart because he's hella confident in his game like he knows that he has the pick of the crop when it comes to women but he keeps thinking about you his heart keeps going back to you and rightfully so because you are this beautiful gorgeous flowery beautiful majestic strong grounded athletic beautiful woman like any man would be blessed to have you but with your guy being you know famous a semi-pro or a professional at what he does and the best at what he does there's a lot of chicks that would d die to be in your shoes sis but your guy is definitely wondering do i want to be with one one woman for the rest of my life do i want to bang have the same p pussy for the rest of my life you know what i mean my channel is for adults just so y'all know i always say it all the time um but yeah so your guy is really in that player phase where he's like damn i don't know man like he goes back and forth with like wanting to be with you forever and ever and ever and then like he's like but i want to be, be single because like it's like he feels like it's like a superpower like women just throw themselves at him but he knows eventually he's gonna have to call it a day and quit his player ways because he has to evolve he feels like as a person he has to get to the next phase of life which is being a husband you know he wants to have that he wants to come home to his wife so he wants to if there was a person he could take a new step in his life with it would be you okay he does see you as an equal and out of all the chicks he dated out of all of the girls you're my one and only girl ain't nobody in the world tonight so yeah that john legend song i don't know what song that is i don't like john legend because he went to little saint james but that's epstein's island and I don't like Chrissy Teigen, they're both, Chrissy Teigen's a goblin, for real. Who jokes about pedophilia and children? Like, she's a sick bitch. I'd kick her ass if I knew her, if she was my neighbor. But anyways, so yeah, so he definitely, when he thinks about building a family, when he thinks about longevity with someone, out of all of the chicks he dates, because we all know that he's a good looking guy and everybody wants to be with him, he thinks of you. And he thinks in the next phase of his life, when it's like the husband phase, it would probably most likely be with you okay and he thinks even though he has you kind of like in limbo and on the back burner according to his love letter it says respect the grind i still say you're cute that's why i'm getting these huge ass athletic like i don't know if he plays semi-pro hockey or if he's a professional football player i don't know if he's he's in some industry you guys maybe he's in the industry dj traveling a lot he does something where he's well known must have a huge following also. So he's in an industry where he's famous, okay? But uh, regardless of it, out of all of the girls, you guys, he sees your worth and he sees how fucking gorgeous you are. And he's sorry for always breaking your heart and making you feel like shit, pretty much. So let's see what creator God has to say about this relationship, you guys. Let's see what the ancestors and angels have to say about this relationship. Creator God and Ancestors, what do you have to say about this relationship? Okay, my watcher waits for him. Oh, damn. How would you guys have to say about this relationship? My watcher waits for him. What's going to happen? Ooh, we. So, yeah, I feel like he's a professional athlete. He's in an industry where he's famous and he's the best at what he does and everybody wants to be with him. He's in very much in a Leo season, that's for damn sure. The Sun card popped out also, you guys, just so you know. I don't know where the fuck it is, but the Sun card popped out. So your guy is definitely hometown hero, okay? Hometown hero. He's the best in the town. Like I said, every woman wants to sleep with your guy. Every man wants to be him. But you just so happen to beg that. So if you were to wait for him, the way it would turn out, obviously, you guys, 
it was all hunky dory when you guys were linked up living in home being together all in the beginning just super gorgeous so you guys do have this base foundation you guys this is not a new romance this is already you guys have already went on met dated everything this is like a you guys know each other you know know each other you know very beautiful, all like in your guys' prime of your relationship and union. Nobody else mattered. The communication was great. The love was great. Very 50-50. No third parties, like see third parties, ever, ever kept a flame to your guys' union. Nobody, no man or woman. Because you guys are like the alpha male and the alpha female of your guys' town. You guys are like the best couple that everyone strives to be like. Like little kids when they're talking to their parents, oh, I want to be like so-and-so in town like you guys are a famous couple they know you everybody knows you guys you guys are like fucking worldly like worldwide famous okay that's just you guys but along the journey yes there is like from what we're picking up like there has been some deception there has been a lot of hidden a lot of hidden things that have been kept that your person has been keeping from you and this really in the current energy is messing up a lot so Moving forward, if you do decide to stay with this person, there is going to be a lot of growth, a lot of wisening up, straightening out, and a lot of wisdom gained and knowledge gained from this union. Your person, it's going to be a work. It's going to be a lot of work with trying to make amends, make forgiveness, move forward, try build a relationship with one another. It is going to be a toil, you guys. It's going to be a toil, like a toil. Like, you know, when you're teething, you're teething to your garden like that kind of toiling do you know what toiling i'm using the synonym like the grind it's going to be some kneading the bread do you know what i mean like it's going to take some elbow sauce to make your guys's relationship really work and moving forward it is going to be lacking a lot of what say a healthy relationship would bring i'm just not getting that this person takes you serious or gives you enough love that you deserve and that sucks because, yeah, we all want that 50-50 love, but it's going to be a long time for him to give you the love that you deserve. And it's going to take a lot of growth, you guys. Like, the Hermit card should come out twice because, really, this is a very, a love that can grow together, but it's going... Like I said, with the Seven of Pentacles, it's going to be a lot of work. It's kind of going to be like a lot of work this connection you guys is going to be a lot of work and i feel like you're going to be doing a lot of it because you have to be patient when dating a famous person because they have to they are famous because they worked hard to get where they are so they have to keep that momentum and keep on that wave of opportunity so your person's first love is obviously going to be his big and the passion that he's so famous for okay so it always will seem like you're just like left in the dust. You know what I mean? But it's because he puts his love right. And moving forward, if you do it for him, there would eventually be healing and equality, but it's going to take a hell of a long time, you guys. It's going to take a long time for him to finally give you what you deserve. It's going to be a long time. Like I would, I'm going to actually see the timing of when he will actually be ready for you. Because right now he's in that stage where he's like, I'm not ready. I don't want to do it. Like, I'm, he's, he loves you. Like I said, out of all the girls, he would choose you. But let's see. With the timing, how long would the timing be? Creator God for, how long would the timing be for this person to straighten out and be ready to settle down? How long would it be? Okay, wow, this card popped out. What is it? Um... Will you just wait for me? <laughs> Will you just wait for me? That's funny. He's just hoping. Because, like, he he doesn't see anyone as equal to him. And knows him like you do. Like, nobody knows him the way you know him. And he really sees that you were there before. You're not there because of his fame. You're there because you love him. You knew him before all that. You know him for him. Okay, so how long will it take, creator, before this guy's ready for union? I guess one more. How long will it take? Wow, okay, so it really depends. It really depends. We got 
yeah we got another card that said depends so will you just wait for me and it depends so it can be anywhere from this guy would be ready to be ready right away like we're talking one week um to give you what you deserve we're talking one week or yeah it's just it's very iffy but i'm getting soon sooner than later so this guy right away would probably be ready i'm talking next week he's going to eventually send you this message and be ready to tell you that he's ready to settle down and just be monogamous with one woman which is with you because this guy like it or not he sees you as being his equal he sees the future with you he sees us building an empire with you he sees how gorgeous and how you are the cream to his coffee regardless of anything he thinks you're cute he's confident your person's 100 percent in their power he knows what he brings to the table like i said every man wants to be him every woman wants to father the, or mother their his child but no matter what this guy just sees you sees the future with you all he sees is building with you his mind is only on you his passion his first love is what made him famous but at the end of the day all he wants and thinks about is just your guys's life together he's i kind of feel like he's too busy for anything else so as like even next week he can message you and tell you he's ready so i know i remind you future i know you've been giving me chance after chance and i laugh or i don't take you serious but i'm busy i always have been um respect the grind I, you know what i mean like this guy is so busy so i'm saying give him a week give him at least one week to reach out to you and you just gotta accept my baby you gotta accept that this is just the way this guy is it's not that he's chasing tail he's not chasing other women he's not messing around with other women it's just that he's so busy what got him successful you guys is his grind and like his letter says you know me i'm always on my grind i'm not trying to be shady or crazy i'm just fucking busy so you gotta chill out you keep thinking i'm doing crazy stuff but i'm honestly just busy your guy's a go-getter so he's not being shady he's honestly just after his bag and like i said the only one he sees being with is you and you guys can heal this relationship you guys can heal this relationship and move forward and take the wisdom and take the knowledge through the hard times and heal it you guys can have this beautiful equal relationship you guys can you guys can get back to this four of wands you guys already had it you guys can have it again and it will last longer next time but give them both this guy a week at least one week to text you okay because he's going to come back like i said sooner or later because out of all the girls he chooses you so give it one week it's gonna happen really soon i'm getting really really soon like fucking give it one week one week keeps popping in my head he's just saying wait for me be patient and like i said he's trying to birth this new stage of his life and it's only with you so that's pretty that's pretty solid like that's really solid you guys that's a really solid person right there He's just really busy building an empire for his legacy. But he loves you. He's in love with you. Okay? Because we have the knight of we have the knight of cups here. This guy is in love with you. He does shower you with love. There is love. He loves you. So if you clicked on here wondering if your person loves you, he does love you. It's just gonna take a lot of elbow grease and hard work to make this work. But in the meantime, advice from your ancestors and God to give you while you're in this period. Ooh, too much too much oh and we got the sun there too remember when the sun popped out in here so this the outcome of this relationship if you're patient and respect your man's grind and not be so annoying to him just give him space he's gonna reach out okay there's a great outcome all right so what is the advice for my watcher though for her what is the or him whoever's watching what's the advice Ooh, this one flipped out Capella okay kappa so advice from your ancestors and god for you my beautiful baby just in the meantime while you wait for this guy to come reach out like i said he's gonna reach out super soon like give it one week he's just on his grind i think this guy's a catch to be honest because if all these women are reaching out to him and you are you have his heart the whole entire time he obviously respects you so he's worth the wait this famous son of a bitch okay so kappa though in the meantime some advice from you for you from your ancestors and god to the card that came out this is the earthly dosha grounding nurturing okay 
You are grounded into Earth's energy and carry its subtle essence and calmness, which makes others naturally gravitate towards you. You bring peace, understanding, and comfort to your community and are the shoulder anyone can lean on in your family, in your community, in any environment. You embody Earth's wisdom and are anchored to her vast life force. You may have created a life or are envisioning one that will bring you great contentment and stability. A true home surrounded by the people you love. You do not need to search for more. The deepest peace you will find is where you are. Just remember never to become too attached to anything, for all is temporary. Wow, that's deep. So yeah, make sure ground yourself. The best way to ground yourself, you guys, is to make sure that you go out in the grass or nature at least once a day. Maybe go for jogs by the ocean, go f lay in some grass, do some yoga, feel the grass beneath your feet and ground yourself for at least an hour a day, 20 minutes even. You need to really get natured. It's a natural medicine and the frequency of the earth, 763 hertz, you guys, brings us to our peace and our calm. And that's naturally what you are. That's why you might find that a lot of people come towards you or call you when they need advice or call you when they need a shoulder to cry on. You are that beautiful natural therapist that's full of love and sparkly energy that any person is just lucky to even talk to you or DM with or Facebook message with because you are a sparkly pillar of strength and a pillar of love and magic. That's just you. And I can see now why out of the whole entire town, this guy would just always be all eyes on you. You see how this guy's all dreamy, just all eyes on you. This guy's in love with you. He's just really addicted to his grind and his passion and his job right now. It has nothing to do with other chicks. It's just he's envisioning if he were to marry someone, it would definitely be you. So don't worry about anything, okay? Just ground yourself and go into nature more. You have nothing to worry about. So yes, I love you so much, my baby, and thank you for joining me for Beautiful Love Tarot.